I don't know how this is supposed to really go because my brain's not filming with this phone. But, um, what's good, baby? Ooh, I look a mess. What do I look like? What is up, girl? Um, this is future editing B coming live to a screen near you. I'm actually still editing this vlog, but I did want to come in and kind of give like a disclaimer or an explanation to kind of what this vlog is. This is a vlog dump. This vlog is pretty much failed vlog attempts for the past month and a half. And there's a message behind this video. Every time I would try to start a vlog, it would be something halting me or in my mind preventing me from finishing the vlog. To where I would not have a vlog, I would not have a video, and I would just be butt out with no content. And I kind of felt bad about it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I felt like every clip wasn't good enough. I felt like the content wasn't good enough. Or I felt like maybe I didn't do enough. Whatever the case may be, everything that could happen happened in, in this vlog, in all these clips. The perfectionist in me is what's messing me up. So this vlog may be a little bit choppy, but once again, this is a dump. Not really like a full on vlog, like a sequential vlog. I did not want my work or my clips to be in vain. This is gonna be my first, probably of many, vlog dump. Hope you guys enjoy, and yeah. Good morning, you guys. Today is Wednesday. I'm gonna say February. Where have I been? It's not February. It is. Girl, you do this every day. February, March, April. We're in April. <laughs> Today is April the 26th. It is like around maybe 10 o'clock in the morning, maybe almost 11. Um, I may look a little bit crazy because. I have to do an eyelash fill probably sometime. Let me fix that real quick for y'all. Uh-uh. Let me fix this real fast. Y'all not gonna keep hitting me with the beep beep. Ooh. I'm ashy. Girl, I just... Uh-oh. Y'all, a little update on the smoke alarm. Girl, now it's hanging down. I have not messed with it like that, but if you're hanging down, I just pressed a little button thingy thing and now she's hanging on by a thread. She dangling and swangling. But um, just so y'all know, for them people call me, I ain't do that. But yes, you guys, today is Wednesday. I'm feeling so good this morning. Um, Firstly, because I tried a new little cute little hairstyle that I think really suits me. It's giving me schoolgirl vibes and I'm here for it. I wish my eyelashes were filled in today so we can match the vibe of this one. I went for a more natural eye like a classic set oh uh, i mean i need to fill this side too it's kind of sparse right here like these sides of lashes are completely gone i don't think i have time to fill them i would mm. i'm not my parents are actually on their way here they should almost be here actually let me check i have my mom's location on i checked it earlier but it just said florida it didn't say where exactly sus was it i need you to be specific for some reason my nose has been burning all morning <sighs> what does that mean oh i got a little bit of time i'm actually a little hungry too so i may eat a little slight snacky and then i'll be racing to come get me but let me hike y'all up because i do want to make me something to eat while i talk my parents are coming over because my dad had a doctor's appointment over here in the area. So that's a quick little way we all get to spend time with each other. That's like a guaranteed time I get to spend with them because his doctor's office is so close to my house to where he can leave from there and come straight here for a couple of hours. So, what we're doing today, I think we're gonna do some thrifting. And I may finally take y'all with me. If it's in the title, then we did it. <laughs> if it's not in the title, since you may get a little strong, little cute little uh, montage, and we may call it a day because I don't know that I'm familiar with thrifting, but it's a um, a rat race. It is 
um, girl, it can get hectic. They gonna elbow you, they gonna push you. They knock my camera out of my hand, it's gonna be a bad day, okay? A bad day. I'm actually completely dressed besides, um, what I got left over? Cranberries here. Where are my blueberries? My blueberries. Tackle my baby. My baby, baby, baby. How are you feeling this morning? Feels great. It's gonna look blurred when I back up, probably because of that filter. Damn, you beautiful girl. That's mine. Girl, I can't even must find my blueberries. I'm gonna nut up. I have an avocado here I can eat. I don't wanna eat this. You guys are about to experience me make the most ghetto breakfast of them all. But the gag is, sis really slaps though. Okay, first thing we're gonna have are some eggs. Now, these are already boiled eggs that my boyfriend got from, I think, 7-Eleven. He loves boiled eggs. So, it's been in the refrigerator for like a day or two. So, I heated up some water and let these sit in here for like a minute. And now, let me get a little bitty baby plate. A little plate. Should've got that because now I'm dripping water everywhere. Ew. First, we're gonna add some pepper. And the secret ingredient, girl, is this Old Bay. It's gonna hit, I'm telling you. I tried this with him maybe like a month or two ago. It changed my whole life, girl. More so, Old Bay. I just love pepper. I don't think he added pepper, but I just like pepper, so. We're gonna add some pepper. Then, throw it around in there. Where it looks like this. Now we're gonna taste it. And that's how you make a flavorful, quick, efficient ghetto breakfast. <laughs> I think. So this is gonna be spending a day with me vlog. Because on top of me being with my parents today and going thrifting, I believe, um, tonight is date night. So it may be spending a day with me vlog slash date night vlog. We'll see how that goes. We kinda had a little mini date night last night. We just watched like a bunch of podcasts, drunk some wine, ate some Chinese takeout, got cold stone, and then knocked out. So let me handle this real quick. If I can't eat cute on camera, and then I'm gonna come back and get a quick little outfit of the day, put my little perfume on, and we go. We go. It's a go. We go. All right. So I just checked my mom's location, and she is like two minutes down the road. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit really quick. This is the outfit. It's just a black. What is this called? What is this called? A sweetheart top? A a square neckline top, I don't know. It's a dupe for something. I've been seeing it all over Pinterest and um and YouTube lately, but um, this is a top that I got from Shein a little while ago. Really, really cute, I'll link it down below. These, this denim skirt I got from H&M, ooh, maybe like six, seven months ago when I first moved over here. Me and Bae went to H&M and I picked up this skirt. The bag, of course, is my Prada silver tote bag. My shoes, I am wearing my silver Chinese laundry um, Hermes inspired duped sandals in silver to match the bag, of course. My necklace is just a regular um, diamond studded necklace that I got from Shein. Some regular silver Shein studs or maybe AliExpress, either one I'll link down below. This is the whole outfit, nothing really too snazzy or fancy. I did want to put something kind of casual today, but a little bit girly and feminine, so I threw on this skirt. Plus, I know I'm gonna be shopping, so this bag is perfect for running around. I have the strap somewhere. Um, matter of fact, while I'm getting this strap, let me show you guys what I'm gonna wear. As far as fragrances, I think I want to wear, that's, that's, that's a little bit too much for today. This is not a sponsored video by any means, but if y'all have not tried Dossier, y'all definitely should, cause y'all missing out. This right here, the Aromatic Ginger, um, I think it's supposed to be the <sighs> Louis Vuitton's Lemon Scythe. Girl, it smells so good. I smelled the original and this smells almost identical. This smells so good. My mom got this for me, I think for 
either Christmas or my birthday. Girl, I'm telling you, 100% recommend. What do I want to wear today? If y'all can't notice already, I kind of decluttered my fragrances. I gave a lot to my mom. Now that she needed it because she has way more than I ever have. She's the reason why I'm into fragrances now. I just want to smell maybe a little bit sweet. Let me see. I have not worn Marc Jacobs Honey in a while. For today's fragrance, I'm going to be wearing my Honey by Marc Jacobs. This smells so good. Maya, do you have this perfume? Yes, I do. How would you describe this? Like a dandelion with honey or something. A something. Ooh, that was a great, that was a great, um. Something with, something that. Like a floral, sweet, like a sweet floral type of. Something that, like, yeah. Because it's, it's spring, it's a spring scent. There you go. You heard it. It's a spring scent. Let me finish putting on my clothes. Put the strap on this bag. And we gonna be out. just chilled and chopped it up but they had the great idea saturday night that we should do a paint and sip or a paint and swish depending on what you guys are into I'll show you guys real quick what i have to do the paint and sip we picked out what we're gonna paint we picked out what we were going to paint saturday we literally watched the whole tutorial, the whole video. I did go and get the easels yesterday. Um, we didn't find any easels in Walmart where we got the paint and everything else from. But this was actually in the five and below section in Target, which came out on time, girl. That was perfect. So I got two of these, if I can find the other one. Yep, two of these. Picked up two acrylic paint sets from Walmart as well. Got these nine by 12 canvases. We picked up one set of brushes, which I don't know why we only got one. No, oh, gone. We should have got two. Our little cheap butts. The tutorial that we watched, they said we we're gonna need a blow dryer. So, so I'm gonna go and get the blow dryer real quick. Set up the paint station or whatever over here on the couch and get to painting this stuff. The glove, no secret. Buckles on the jacket, it's a leak. Nike cross body, got a piece. I could be 
shorties wanna tie the knot. Two hundred on my brother's block. Pedal off the roads like I love or not, baby. Not. I don't know what's wrong with me, I can't stop. Won't stop, never stop. Got so many ops, I've been mistaken. Ops for other ops. Got so many people that I love, I have a trouble spot. Other than family, I got. <laughs>Touched professionally for the first time in like seven years two weeks ago and my first silk press two weeks ago and it has been holding strong now it's a little bit puffy but um so it's definitely is gonna be hitting on something for a couple of days today is Saturday um, it's 21st right about now it is 5:53. Um, today is date night which is why I did go ahead and do my hair um, me and Bear are going to do a little bit of going out tonight in Miami. Um, I'm not too sure what he has planned as of now, but I know for a definite we are going to go visit um, Sexy Fish. It's a restaurant in Miami that he found. He's always finding something, dealing with some food, child. We some booties. Oh, and it looks really cute and like a nice little vibe, nice little aesthetic. So we're going to go check that out, possibly for some drinks, because I think um, they're probably all booked up as far as tables. Um, and then to eat, I'm not too sure. We'll figure that out as we go. I did want to come in and just kind of, kind of just check in. I have my outfit and everything laid out, well, thought up. But I do want to show you guys some goodies that I received. When I say my life is so raggedy, I promise y'all just a couple of vlogs ago, or actually I think it was my last vlog I uploaded, we just got this closet together. Girl, this right here is a combination of my clothes and Bae's clothes because <laughs> I felt kind of like a not having his clothes in here and hogging up the whole closet so that's why I put everything in here clothes included I mean shoes included colognes and everything included this box right here is actually all of my things that were pretty much on my shelf that I do not want minus these clothes these clothes are clothes that I have set out for when I go on vacation um but this whole bag this whole box I have Chanel shoes my hats my Rosalind McGinsky hats all types of bags in here and shoes that have to go so hopefully tomorrow sometime I may get around to taking a few pictures and upload them to the site in the meantime with me getting rid of all this I got some new goodies I don't want to knock everything down let me put this camera down oh that's still gonna fall oh that's still gonna fall <laughs> suckers so this is what we have. We have something from Fendi, something from YSL, and you guys know I cannot do anything without getting a Chanel. I did get these packages, um, was it last week or so? I don't know why I'm out of breath, just taking it off the shelf, but Posted Ben showed you guys this stuff, but let me get my tripod so I can show you guys what's in these boxes. All right, the first thing I'm gonna open is gonna be my YSL box. Now, I know what's in all of these boxes, but I just wanna show y'all. These are a pair of shoes. I forgot the name. They may and may not be the Cassandra. Either way, I have been dying to get my hands on these shoes. You cannot tell me that this is not a sexy shoe. It's black, it's sleek, it's strappy. It can go with pretty much everything, especially anything black. Y'all know how I feel about black. But yeah, these are really, really cute. So these are the first things that I got. All right, the next thing is going to be a bag. I did want a... Fendi baguette for vacation. And this is she. Girl, the white of this bag makes the white on my nails look like poo. It's completely white and it does come with a strap. I'm probably only going to use the strap, which is this right here. Oh, but it's still got the paper and everything on it. 
Anyways, just, just picture it. Just picture sis with the thing on there, hun. It has Fendi engraved on the claw. The leather feels so soft and it's so white. I love this strap. I love shoulder bags, period. And the leather on this just feels so plush. Now I low key wanna find an outfit for tonight that fits this bag. This also comes with a long crossbody strap, but um, I'm gonna show y'all, but I doubt I'll ever be using this um, as a crossbody bag. Cause I am too short to have anything hanging below my hip. The same type of Fendi engraving on the clasp. And sis is long, okay? I think that bag is a too classic bag to even use this strap. And then last thing I have for vacation is gonna be the Chanel sandals. You guys probably already know what this is because it's just right on trend. These are so cute. Ooh, and I like that this moves. That's, that was unexpected, but I like how that moved. It's adjustable. This is very adjustable. Oh, and they got a bunch of space for the Velcro. Yes, ma'am. For the little feet girls. I don't know what shoe this is. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's perfect for vacation because of the cork detailing and the um, rope on the foot. Baby, mm. look like it's just gonna be hell to walk in, but we gonna make it do what it do. This is cute. Everything um, that I received did come with a dust bag. It came with the proper wrapping over the items. Um, like I said, I did unpackaged everything beforehand just put it back in this boxes oh and they all came with um shopping bags like the 50 bag every detail is down to the wire i love these uh, i'm kind of scared to take these on vacation now if i do they won't be for like walking walking they'll be for like cute little days where i'm not in any dirt or something because i'm not sure on yet how to clean these now that i've shared all of my goodies with y'all i'm not even gonna lie or hold you um, me and Bay have been on the go since early this morning. I am very tired. We're gonna leave here maybe like around maybe 8.30 or nine o'clock. Um, it takes us from where we are now, maybe like 45 minutes to an hour to get to Miami. So I had to give me a bit of a nap. He's already in there knocked out. It is six o'clock now. Knowing me, I gotta start getting dressed at 7.30, 8 o'clock. It, it's a process. If you know, you know. Once I get up and we start moving around and getting dressed and everything, I'm gonna come back to y'all so we can start getting dressed together. <laughs> yeah. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got hoes, but I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead. Raps on the facts that they sat with the boss. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart. I got big things coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out the stage. Got Lil Max with me, he the way It's a big gap between us and the gang In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid When I die, I put my money in the grave When I die, I put my money in the grave I really gotta put a couple niggas in their place Really just left every nigga in a place I really might tap this nigga on my face Lil CC, let it slap with the bass I used to save hoes with a mask in a cave now I'm like, nah, if I'm good, go away Ain't about to die with no money I didn't pay I was on top, and that shit meant a lot Still on top, like I'm scared of the drop Still on top, and these niggas wanna swap Niggas wanna swap, make a sauce in a watch I don't wanna change, cause I'm good where I'm at Mom tie, so I'm always good where I'm at Word of Junior, Jazzy, Baby Day Tell them when I die, put my money in a Couple figures kill a skull up the leg She fuck me, then she on to the next We live in large, she ain't all with the Mac When you need to stick the small in the mall with a rat Roll with us if you really wanna get it Go get a half a million in a Sprinter Phone ringing, bitches know a big triple I got the hook up in there, really no limit Dead brokers in you nigga DNA Ricky smell is indicated with the gate Another state case. Very my motherfucker check his bank time. Gotta count on my bills. We niggas suspicious, so I gotta rewind it. Been dripping like I gotta see and I was got the truck jumping like time when I'm rebounding. Then I'm out. Then I never talk about it. The homie squad, but we all smoke the lobs. Niggas in the middle of being modest, cause the way I do my deals never treated like an artist. You could DM my account. My 
Me up six figures at the count. Figures was the gold, feel like you to eat number one fan. Whew, we ain't got but maybe a mile down the road. We had to stop and get gas. Girl, my hair was cute before I came outside. Florida be trying to. Just let me get a picture first. Florida be trying to cock block. Mm. It was cute. I promise y'all it was cute. It was vibey. I had a little a little feathery bang going on. It's just not getting what's supposed to give at this point. So I probably should have brought my claw clip just in case. It's 9.34. We were meant to leave at 9 o'clock. I probably was the reason we got a little bit late, a little bit far behind getting in the car. But either way, we're going to make it there. I know I'm starving. Starving, hungry, ready to drink. What time was our reservation? Wait, you need to get you some snack on before you drink. So we drink it first. Mm. Remember? I'll start some off. Mm. Some fresh fries or something. Yeah, we'll do that. Because we had... Yeah, I haven't eaten since I had that, slide, that cheeseburger slider. Yeah, they ain't eat nothing all day. I had the apple pie. But ain't nothing. Sure, late. But yeah, we just riding at this point. We just got in the car. So once we get a little bit closer, we're supposed to be going. Then I'll come back and check in with y'all. When I dive up my money in the grave, really gotta put a couple niggas in their place. Really just slap every nigga in a place. Really might check with this nigga on my face. No CC, just slap with the place. What is up you guys and welcome back to yet another vlog. Today is Sunday, May the 22nd. Me and Bae finally are getting up and moving. It's probably a little bit around maybe three or two o'clock. Typically on Sundays, we're just resetting, stocking up on groceries, can we do go grocery shopping every week or sometimes bi-weekly. I have on all my clothes. All I have to do now is add my earrings, find some shoes because my feet are killing me. Last night, me and Bay had a little date night. Girl, I tried to vlog yesterday. I'm gonna show all the footage that I did get <laughs> because that footage was kind of cute, but um, wasn't enough for no full vlog since it just wasn't. The place we initially wanted to go to was packed at the brim. The line was way too long, so we skipped out on that. Went to another restaurant called Kimono, which was really nice. The atmosphere was jumping, the music was bomb. The food was really good. The only thing was we had to walk a little ways. Girl, if you know Miami, Miami is always packed, jam-packed. We lived like 45 minutes from Miami. It wasn't that hard of a drive, but the walking distance from parking to um, the restaurant was trash and your girl had on heels and if y'all know it and y'all know my feet are flat i feel everything on the ground all i got to say on that is your girl has blisters the size of uh beef patties on the bottom of her feet and it's not a good time so on the list of to do's we have to go grocery shopping we're going to target then we are going to come back and clean up open up a few packages that i received in my p.o box back at home enough of me chit chatting let me go finish putting on my little stuff and then we're gonna go grocery shopping. Girl, it was so bad last night with these feet. I left the shoes in the car and everything. Everything had to stay. Some of that hot air coming out of here first, y'all. 